my Euro ball up. Welcome to a special edition of Cooking with Mr. Stroll. Why are we cooking? Because we love food. Why don't we just buy food from the shops? Because food that we make ourselves is much better for us. Now, what's the first thing we've got to do? Rob, we're going to put on our apron. Right, what's the next thing we're going to do? Rob, we're going to put on our chef's hat. What do you mean it's not a chef's hat? It looks nothing like a sailor's hat. We need our chef's hat to make sure our hair doesn't go in the food. Yuck. Right, what's the next thing we've got to do? Right, we're going to go wash our hands. Let's go wash our hands. Get some soap. Turn on the tap. Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mr. Strong's hand. Happy birthday to you. Rinse off all the soap and then go dry your hands. Right. Now our hands are clean, let's get cooking. So, what are we going to make? Today, we're going to make energy bites. These things are going to be delicious and they're going to keep you going throughout your day. You can snack on them when you feel you're hungry. So, what are you going to need? You need some oats. I've got oatmeal here, doesn't really matter. Maybe you like it a bit chunkier, and you can just get regular rolled oats. You're going to need some honey. Make sure it's good honey. You're going to need some peanut butter. Make sure it's good peanut butter. Always check the ingredients list. This is a special peanut butter. It's got cocoa in it as well. The ingredients say organic peanuts and cocoa powder. That's it nothing else. You're going to need some vanilla extract. That's going to make it yummy. You're also going to need something fun to put in it. I've got some raisins because I love raisins. You might like some chocolate chips, but don't put too many in. You'll also need a little pinch of salt. Other than that, these things are optional, but they are also very good for you. Flax seeds. If you don't know what it is, find out. This is full of good fats. Omega-3s, omega-6s, all the things you need for a healthy brain. If you can get hold of it, you might like to put some maca powder in it. This stuff is from Peru. It's packed full of vitamins and minerals and is really good at getting your energy up for exercise. So I'm gonna put some in. But if you don't have these two things, don't worry about it. You might just wanna increase the oats when I put this stuff in. All right, all right, let's get busy. So what are we gonna do first? First, let's get some, hmm, let's get our oats in there. So oats, we are going to need one cup of oats. Measuring cup, you're gonna need that too. So one cup of oats. One cup is about 230 millilitres. All right, almost there, a little bit more. All right, I think that will do. One cup of oats. Oh, you're gonna need a bowl to put stuff in too. <coughs> cup of oats in. What else do we need? Right, how about we put in our raisins next, or maybe you're gonna use chocolate chips if you're feeling a little bit naughty. Okay, let's have half a cup of these. That looks about half a cup to me. We don't need to be exact, exact. All right, half a cup of raisins going in, nice. All right, what should I do next? I think I'm going to do my flax seeds. Notice how I'm doing all the dry things first, because as soon as I put something wet in here, it's going to get all stiffy. So, 
flax seeds. I'm going to do half a cup of these. If you don't have flax seeds, then you might just want to increase your oats. Um, I don't think I want the dry packet in there. Get that out. Ah, half a cup of flax seeds. These are ground flax seeds, not whole flax seeds. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, that'll do. Who cares? Half a cup of flax seeds. All right, um, let's get the other dry stuff in. Maca powder. I'm gonna put about eight teaspoons of this in. So I've got my maca powder in, got my flax seeds in, got my oats in, got my raisins in. All right, it's time to get some wet stuff in. Oh, we got some salt. I just like to put a little pinch of this. Not too much, just a pinch. All right, that'll just make it taste a little bit yummier. Okay, wet stuff now. So, vanilla extract. That, we need one teaspoon of it. Right, we're gonna need quite a lot of peanut butter, I think. Yeah, half a cup of peanut butter. Let's have a look how we're doing now, Mr. Sang. Sorry, Mr. Strong. Who said that? You could use another butter if you like, like almond butter, something like that. To be honest, I prefer things like almond butter to peanut butter. I bet you didn't know that peanuts are not actually a nut. They're a legume, which means they're a kind of bean. So when I eat nuts, I prefer to eat nuts. So yeah, maybe almond butter would be a good thing to, for this. All right, got peanut butter all over my hands. Let's work out what's next. Uh, I think we need our honey next, but how much honey do we need? Um, ah, about a third of a cup of honey. This is what's gonna make it really sweet and yummy. If you don't have honey, you could be using other things like maple syrup or something like that. Always add more if it doesn't taste good, but it's a bit hard to take it out if it tastes bad. Okay, one third of a cup of honey in the dough. Loads of honey. Alright, scrape that all out. Waste not, one not. There's nothing behind. Get it all in there. Okay. Now comes the fun bit, and the real reason why we washed our hands. So we're going to have to get it in there. We're going to have to start making some little bite sized energy bites. I've just got a little plastic box with some grease poof oven paper in there just to put my balls onto. Because after I've made them, they're gonna go in the freezer to make them nice and hard, and then we can keep them in the fridge for eating later. All right, let's get Bessie. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is super sticky, super messy. Ooh. In you go. 
mix it up. Oh no, try not to make a mess like I am. It's going all over my table and all over my floor. Yuck, Mrs. Strong's not gonna be happy with me. Okay, you might even need my spoon to help me. This is getting really messy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be eating it off my fingers. All just stuck to my hands. Hey, one big energy ball. If I ate all that, I'll be up and down all night. Let's start making some balls. I want these to be bite-sized, so I can just pop them in whenever I'm hungry. So I'm going to make them about this big. Look at that. Yum, yum. There goes one. Look at all my yummy energy bites. I made 17, but my energy bites are quite big because my bike size is quite big, so I've got a big mouth. If your mouth's a bit smaller than mine, you might be able to make more, maybe 20 or more. Put your energy bikes in the freezer for one hour so they can set. Don't forget to take them out. After an hour, get your energy bikes out of the freezer so they don't go to rock. Now that they've been solidified, you can add them to a smaller tub maybe and put them in the fridge ready to eat whenever you feel like you need an energy boost. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. I'm ready to take on the world.